And now, the Hallelujah Program with Minister Deborah Jackson and Brother Daniel. Well, praise the Lord out there in YouTube land. I hope you're listening. I hope you had a wonderful week so far, and I'm so glad to be back at the station, and the topic today is going to be on peace, P-E-A-C-E. You know, a song just came up in my spirit. It says, war, you know, what is it good for? But peace, what is it good for? Peace can prevent wars. Peace can control divorce. Many people stay they married for money and financial things, and they think they can get happiness, but you can't get happiness. You can't buy happiness, and you cannot buy peace. And, you know, and uh, Granny's going to be elaborating more on peace, and Evangelist Pat, she's on her way, and Brother Daniel, he's out, and we just want to give a shout-out to Brother Daniel, wherever you are. we asking God to protect you. In the name of Jesus, and if you are watching today, please give a holler, give a, a document or a comment on the YouTube site. And in the name of Jesus, we're going to have Granny to do a prayer at this time. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Clothing our right mind, activity of our limbs and the blood running one in Come on, pain. come on. Thank the Lord for giving us a mind to live for you, Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless these, bless us, give us what to say and how to say it. And Lord, help it to be helpful to someone out there in the cyberspace. In the name of Jesus, we just want to, to do your will, whatever you have us to do. In the name of Jesus, in the name give of us Jesus. strength, give us power, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen and amen. Amen and amen. And, Lord, we just want to thank you. Actually, God, we want to thank you for leaving the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. And see, when Jesus was on the cross and the blood came streaming down, peace I leave with you from the blood. That was when eternal peace happened. Think about it. The world today, there is no peace. We're not going to have any peace until the second coming. We, I don't care what they do, what they say, how many meetings they got. The Bible say there is wars and rumors of wars. That's all we hear is nations against nations and countries against countries. And it's going to go on and on and on to the end of time. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing that we can fix it. The only one that can fix it is the comforter. Hallelujah. And that's the Holy Ghost. And Jesus, who sits on the right hand side of the Father, he is the peacemaker. He will be the one that will give you eternal peace. And Philippians 4 and 7 in the King James Version, it says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Once you get Christ Jesus, you will be able to have peace. Once you know that he is the Savior, hallelujah, you will know about peace. You know, we can't get peace from our husband or our kids. We can't get peace from financial issues. We can only get peace from the Master. We can only get peace from the Master. We can Amen. only get peace from the Almighty One. We can only get peace from the awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's the one that will give you peace in your mind when you're going through, when you have death in your family oh. and you don't know which way to go. He yes. can give you peace in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your trials, in the midst of your circumstances. You can be in the Maori clay, but when you know the Almighty One, you can look up to the hills which help, which comes 
from the Almighty One and He will give you peace. He will give you understanding. He will allow you to sleep at night. Hallelujah. No matter what you've been going through, you need to know the Master. Come on, Granny, with peace. Oh, We're talking yeah, about man. peace, yes, peace, peace. It's peace. a song that says, peace, be still. And many times you need to be still and know God for your circumstances. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I was looking over in St. John, the 14th chapter, and the first verse said, Let not your heart be troubled. Come on, come on. You believe in God, believe also in me. <coughs> in my Father's house are many mentioned. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for come you. Come on, come on. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That's right. That's where I am. There he may be also, and whether I go, he know. And it's the, this is letting us know that we we worry and, and, and about so many things. But God, Jesus came. God sent Jesus, His Son, down through forty-two generations to show us how to live, how to have peace. And I'm down in the going further down in the uh, that chapter, that twenty-fourth verse, and and it says, "He that loveth me, keepeth." Not my he that loveth me keepeth not my saying, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. The Father sent Jesus down to help us to make sure that we are right. And it says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Who is the who the Father will sin in my name. He will teach you all <coughs> things and will bring all things to your remembrance and whatsoever I have said unto you. And will let you know that if we don't let our heart be troubled, we will have peace. And then I went over into the uh, Hebrews, Hebrews, the 12th chapter. It says, Wherefore sin he also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Come on. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin <coughs> which does so easily beset us. And let us run this race with patience, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, for the joy that we set, that was set before us, set before him, endured the cross, despises the shame and is set down at the right hand of God. See when Jesus he had he had peace. He did what his father God told come on, him. Come on, come on, come on. And he gave he 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 gave it obeyed even until the death of the cross. And the fourteenth verse says, Follow peace with all men. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. See, we have to be like Jesus. That's We're right. We're trying to be like Jesus. We have to learn how to follow peace. When someone say something and hurt come our on, feelings come on. and do things, bad things against us, we have to uh, 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 just forgive them because that's what Jesus did. See, we got to learn to do. Ask ourselves, when someone get on our nerves, is what would Jesus do? In this situation, Come what on. would Jesus do? My, Jesus my, my, had my, peace. my. He had peace. Yes, and he, he did. And he showed us how to have peace. And he says, you know, let your heart, let not your heart be troubled. Don't worry when somebody say things about you. Don't worry when somebody do evil against you. Let peace. The one scripture said, let, let peace abide mm, in us. That's we, right. Let, us, it, let it abide in us richly. You know, and we just have to learn how to 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 overcome evil with good. <clears throat> That's and right. That's right. And if we overcome right. evil with good, we will have peace. We'll do what God have us to do. We my, will be my, peaceful. My. And I tell you, I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for the peace of Jesus. The peace of God that passes uh, that, that all surpasses understanding. all understanding. All. See, He knows how to 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 carry us, how to keep us. You know. And if it wasn't for Jesus. I don't know what I would do. Some people, they don't understand. But yet and still, we got to have patience. And we have to, my, my, my. you know, be peaceful with them. 
You know, let them know who Jesus is. We got to see some people don't even read the Bible. Man, the man, only man. thing they do is read us. So if we, if 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 they are uh, <coughs> a, a, a trouble, and then they try to throw their trouble off on us, all we got to do is be peaceful. So like the Bible said, follow peace with all men, holiness without no man shall see the Lord. Amen, Thank amen. You, you know, in the book of Matthew four thirty nine, if you went to Sunday school or you, some of the many ministers, apostles, preachers, evangelists, teachers, you might remember the concept. It says, and he arose and rebuked the wind mm -hmm. and said unto the sea, peace, be, be still. Mm -hmm. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. See, when you're in the midst of your how you say your tribulations or your trials mm -hmm. if you know him you can call on him and he will give you the strength so that you can say peace peace in your mind peace in your thought when you have peace you'll be able to walk like a peaceful person not like a person that takes an AK-47 and right. try to blow somebody's brain out there is no peace not not like a person that might take them from the old school a ice pick and, and stab you in the heart that's not peace that's not trying to be peace you know there's many that try to separate a fight and they end up dying but they were trying to provide peace to that situation. Mm -hmm. And the Bible say, peace I leave with you. That's something that, as you say, is a promise. It's a guarantee. It's not like the guarantee where we have business that go out and they file chapter 13, 7, 15, 2, or whatever. That's not a guarantee. That's only a temporary guarantee until they lose their business. But we have a guarantee of eternal life, peace with the Savior, with the Master, Jesus. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is to confess. And you must believe. If you want peace in your mind and your heart, you got to turn and you got to know the comforter. If you want this kind of peace that passes all understanding that, as you say, I always say favor is better than blessing. Favor is better than grace because when you have favor, you get the blessings, you get the grace oh, yeah. of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The Bible say he blessed he bless the just as well as the unjust. So you can still be unjust and get blessed, but you cannot be unjust and get the favor of God. Hallelujah. We're talking about peace right now. And you know, peace is part of the fruits of the Spirit. Oh, yeah. One of the fruits of the Spirit is peace. So you need to be spiritual. Hallelujah. And have that peace and have that insight. And you need to study your word to get the peace. And I'm saying it again, that passes any human being's understanding of the word peace. Peace is peace means a calm situation. Peace means there's no disturbance. Peace means that everything is all right. The problem has been solved. And when you get to that type of peace in your mind, you can help others. But if you don't know God, and if you have not accepted him as your personal savior, if you are anti-Christ, how can you ever get the peace? You know, the Bible say, do unto others as you have them to do unto you. But I'm saying some of your next door neighbors and friends, they don't they don't treat you right. But if they have the peace that passes all understanding, they will be able to treat you right. Come on, Granny. Yeah, and I was looking over in Roman, the fifth chapter, beginning with the first verse. It says, Therefore, being justified Come on. by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have ex access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. See, we, if, if, if we, we have peace, then we are justified by God. There you go. He, he, you know, he makes everything all right for us. We don't have to worry about a lot of things, things that we really, we don't need to worry for anything because he says, you know, the God will take care of us. He said in one scripture, 
that he he's, he's our provider. That's he's right. Our, that's right. Jehovah he's our Jireh. Waymaker. Come he's on. The one that whatever we need, God has it. It says over in Psalms that the earth is the Lord's and the that's fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein, even the cattle on a thousand hills belong <clears throat> to him. It says we are his people. We are God's people, the sheep of his pasture. And you know, anything, even our little children, if we have our children and if we love our children so until we're going to take care of them, don't you know that God loves us more? He loves us so until everything that we need. <coughs> we may think that, oh, yes, my job is what do, what's doing it. But that's not what's doing it. God is setting before Things that we, you know, I can think about when I was working before I retired. My, and we my, used to my. have to take it. We say, well, we're going to take X amount of dollars out of each check, and we're going to uh, uh, put it into an account, and you're going to be drawing money all the rest of your life as long as you live, even after you retire. And I remember some of us, we would sit around, and we would cry, and we would grumble and mumble and grumble. But, you know, I tell the Lord, thank you today. I know that's thank right. Thank you, Jesus. Because once I retired, I've been retired for 16 years. My, my, and that my. check never fails to fall in. My, my, and it my. says, as long as I live. And I'm planning, my plan is to be here and be raptured. So All that right. means I'm planning to be here for a long <clears throat> for time. For a long time. For a long time. time. I mean, here, my sister said, I'm from the... I'm in for the long haul. You're I want to be here. Long haul. And you know, and I I want to have peace. And That's see, right. The only way we're gonna have peace is we're gonna have to be saved, sanctified, you got that and right. filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. Because I tell you, we don't have Jesus, we're not gonna have peace. That's right. Because everything that go up against us, Jesus is there. You know, it's like when you got a when you got a case that you got to go through and you don't know what to do. You go and get you a lawyer. See, Jesus is our lawyer. He is the one that's going to make sure everything come out right. He is a, He says, he said, in his word says, his peace with the goal, it takes care of all things that people don't understand. That's right. And they will say, how could you do this? How could this happen? How is this? How is that? But see, my peace, Jesus said, my peace that I will give unto you. My peace, not that the world give. But as the Lord give it to us. Come them. on, that's, that's right. That's the reason that we as saints of God can be peaceful. You know, peace in the middle of a storm. It's just like something when the hair, I was just looking on the TV and they was had hurricanes or whatever it was on the yes, flood. Yes, yes. And people, some was being drowned. In, but then everybody wasn't messed up. Everybody wasn't. God took care of a lot of those people. But if they would have the one that it was saying, one man said, I'm going to get out of here. If he would have stayed there, he would be here today. That's but see, right. he, he took it in his own hand. Mm -hmm. But see, Jesus already got it made. He got a way made for us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we, all we have to do is follow his That's direction. That's right. That's right. All his direction. That's study the word. Do what the word say. Obey the word. Obey. After you read it, learn what it say, obey it. And it says, follow peace. Peace. With all men. Follow peace with all men. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. All we have to do is follow peace. When Hallelujah. people try to upset your nervous system, follow peace. When people talk about you, follow peace. When people uh, do things that, that, that despitefully misuse you, follow peace. Because the one scripture says when people hurt you, you be good to them, you love them, That's right. show kindness. That's and that right. was he. A coals of fire on their head. That's it right. will give them something to think about. So we, Jesus has already made a way for us. All we have to do is do what he has to That's say right. to do. Follow peace. Peace. Follow peace with peace. all men. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of John 14, 27, it reads, Peace. As Granny was saying, not as the world, but this scripture, as it says, Cosigns. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Peace I leave with you. My mm -hmm. peace I give you. That's right. Not as the world giveth. 
give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And it, be, it reminds me, you know, when you have riots and things, and, and if you be listening to some of the politicians, and no names are necessarily at this time, and how are you going to do peace? How are you going to control the, the gun violence? When we have all these AK-47s and all those other kinds, the magnets and short guns and long guns, and, and you know, People get upset and then they go out and they try to solve the problem themselves instead of praying and asking God for guidance and understanding. They just go out and, you know, it's amazing that you can have 100 people and you can have a heckler in the group. <clears throat> That's not for peace because he wants everything to be upset and disturbed. And that reminds me when... Uh, Jesus was crucified, there were some hecklers in the crowd, oh, yeah. and they didn't want peace. Hallelujah. And, and they incited the, the crowd where they says, Barabbas, 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 instead of saying Jesus. See, that's how easy you can be persuaded and go the wrong way. But when you know the master and you know that you know him, you don't have to worry about the hecklers that will be coming into your view. Or the ones that are around you. See, it's so good to have peace. When you have peace, like I said, you can get a good night's sleep. When you have peace, you can make the right decision. And you don't need to go make those harsh or those decisions that you make real quick. But when you have peace, God will give you the interpretation of the understanding of what you're going through and a way to make it easier in your mind. And it can become a gift. You know, to me, I'm feeling that Peace is really a gift from God because everybody, they don't understand peace. They, they just take things into their own way and they do what they want to do instead of doing what the Bible says about peace. Peace in your heart. Peace in your mind. Peace when you're going through your trials and tribulations and you might be in the miry clay and you can't see any way out. But if you can just remember the word, peace, peace. I lead with you. Amen. And he left, as Granny said, that comforter. And that's the Holy Ghost. You know, it's amazing when you get into a situation. It's like you hear somebody whispering in your ear, you should not do that. Hallelujah. And then if you do it, you end up being arrested. You'll be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Your mind is all messed up and you don't have any peace. But if you had to listen to the little spirit that's saying, don't do that, don't go that way, don't go, don't be with them, you would have got that peace where the ones that went and got incarcerated, they have no peace. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that I'm glad that I'm here, and Lord, peace, peace in our mind. And I thank you so much for the peace that you left, because the Bible says, peace, I leave with you. Mm -hmm. It's yours for the asking, oh, yeah. this eternal life of peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is what we're living for right now. We need peace. There's so much stuff that's going on in the world right now, but you don't have to worry about it when you know King Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Come you. on, Granny, and, oh, and yeah. make your announcements and take us home. Oh, yes. And, you know, uh, like I, I was... It's, it's not exactly peace, but it's, it's still peace. I was looking at the St. John, the 15th chapter, uh -huh. before I give my announcement. I am the true vine. That's right. And my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that bears not fruit is taken away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it. That's right. And it may bring forth more fruit. And see... And see, that fruit connects with the fruit of the Spirit. That's right. The and fruit so the fruit, spirit, the fruit of the spirit is peace. Peace, peace. peace is in there. Peace yes. is there. And so if you, if you could get be connected to the vine, I am the true vine. Jesus is the true vine. And the, we are the branches. And we got to, if we branch out, we got to be more like Jesus. That's right. Every day. This is what, what we are all trying to to do. We're striving day by day to be more and more and more like, like Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Be more like Jesus. Do what Jesus have us to do. Come on. You know, 
and and and, and we don't you, you you read all the way through, I read all the way through the Bible different scriptures and I don't see what Jesus ever committed any sin. My, my, I my, see my. that what he did he tried to help. He came and he taught. He 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 he, he came and he tried to he tried to peace lead peace let them let, know let them know the peace but that they don't have to worry. That's right. See, we don't have to we worry about a lot of things. Me, I'm guilty of myself. My, my. Worry. That's why we have this high blood pressure and low blood pressure. And, and heart attacks and all, and all that stuff. And all these heart attacks and stroke. Because we sit around and worry. There's nothing that we can change. Everything belongs to God. That's right. All we have to do is turn from our wicked ways. That's right. And turn to Jesus. And ask the Lord to save us. Cleanse us up. That's right. Clean us, Lord. Forgive us for our sins. Lord, I want to be saved. I want to be like you. And Jesus, see, he sent Jesus down through these 42 generations to teach us how. And then Jesus, he obeyed. He's letting us know what we have to do like Jesus. Jesus obeyed mm -hmm. God even down to the dying on the cross. He gave up his life. Nobody killed him. Nobody right. took his life. He gave up his life so that we might have the right to the real my, life. My, my. And peace. I tell you, I tell you, my peace. Peace. We have peace. My peace I give you. My peace. You know, peace, God's peace. It 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 it, it it's it, eternal. It, it's it, eternal. It, 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 That's what it, we all keep want. Us, keep That's us right. on that level. That's right. You know, on that level. We don't have to worry about a lot of things. We worry when we don't have to worry. When you Thank have you peace, Jesus. you you have a a level mind. When you yes, have peace, you, you just don't go and just jump into your decision. You have a talk with the master. Oh, yeah. And I thank God for the that he left the comforter. I That's thank right. God by that comforter. For the peace. I yes. thank God for the blood because through the blood is the peace. If the blood had not came, we, then we would not have eternal peace. And oh, that's yeah. a miracle. That's a blessing. Hallelujah. That's a gift. Jesus left us a gift. He left us peace. Peace for our soul. Peace for our mind. Peace for eternal salvation. Lord, Amen. I thank you for your peace. Thank Lord, you, Lord, I praise you for your peace. Thank Lord, you, Lord, I lift you up. Hallelujah. Yes, thank Lord. you, God. Glory, you, glory for your peace, Father. Peace, 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 yes, peace, Lord. peace. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, Granny, with oh, your... Yeah. Announcing. Oh, yeah, and I would like to uh, uh, invite everyone to come out to my church. I say my church is uh, our church, New uh -huh. Bethel Apostolic Church at 1735 West Martin Luther King Boulevard in the city of Los Angeles, 90062. That's uh, at Martin Luther King and Western. We're having a free Community Health Fair is going to be on August the 20th, 2016, beginning at 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. We're going to have diabetes screening, blood pressure monitoring, uh -huh. nutrition, uh, dental services. But on the dental services, uh, it's only with, you have to have Medicare to do that. We have family planning. The DP, DPSS will be there. We have LA Care. We have the WIC program will be there. Cover California will be there. Uh, asthma, uh, so we're going to have an asthma seminar. The HIV testing will be, you will be able to be tested. You know, there's a lot of people living out on the street. That's right, that's right. And they right. can be tested free. It wouldn't cost anything. This is a free community health fair. We have medical testing. You know, some people out there, like you say, on the street, they haven't been going to the doctor. They we're, we're gonna have doctors on the, on the premises. We'll check them out. Mother and Granny, know what's going on. Are, are yes. you gonna have any counselors in there? Are you gonna have any prayer in it? Is uh, it's gonna be gonna any have, witness or anything that's going on? Yeah, we're gonna to have, tell the people about God. We're gonna have that too. All right. And we're gonna have. I, I was gonna finish it and says that we're gonna have a vision screening. All right. And the, the first fifty to eighty people. Well, it will be completely free. Uh, they're going to be and free. And many, many more other things. We will be, uh, uh, we have, we'll have a counseling table. There you go, so there you go. That's we will let you know how to be saved. All right, all right. To be saved. 
They get tired of their wicked ways. That's we right. We have a, a, a table for that. You can come over and we can tell you about Jesus and we can pray. Let you know how to, what, how to live for him and we will have uh, let you know how to, to study your word. There you and go. Pray, and we will pray with you. And and, and and even if you need baptizing, hey, All man, right. you can be baptized All right. on, that, on, on the spot. My, my, my. We have my. a pool, and we have ample people that are baptized, ready to baptize. Ready. We, and we are, I'm inviting you to open in the doors of the church. My, so my, my. you don't have a church home, come you on. can come on, and we can continually teach you That's and help right. you to nurture you on to be what you will have to be. And if you want to most know anything else, I want you to call 323. Your uh -huh. phone number is 323-702-5989. That's 702-5989. And just come on out and, oh, yes, we're going to have food, too. All and right. Not, I didn't mention it, but you're going to have some food. Is it free food? Free food. <laughs> free food. Yes. All right. Free, free food. Free community uh, All right. Food. That will get them and out. Food will, will get them out. I will be there uh, from, from 10 a.m. to 1220. To 1220 at no later than 1230. I will be there. And you'll be able to meet Granny, and I will be back. Right. I don't know exactly what I'm going to fix, the, the food, but you'll be able to get something. Some you get a food, taste of little granny's drink, cooking. Some cakes, some cookies, <clears throat> some whatever, whatever, whatever God lay on my heart to cook, to have it there for you to eat. All right. Okay. Now, I wouldn't say for you, for us, because I'm going to eat some of it, too. All righty. All right. Okay. And don't forget that the topic today was on peace. Amen. Peace relieved with you. Yeah. My peace. peace God left with you. Yes. Peace in your mind. Peace yes. In your heart, peace. It's so good to have peace when you drive and you don't get upset That's because right. somebody cuts you off. See, if you have peace, you just say, "Well, Lord, pray for them, let them go." Otherwise, you just how you say you put the what is it the pedal to the metal, metal. and you go and you and you might even try to hip them. You know, I always wanted to have one of those Batmobiles that when somebody cut me off, I would like to just drive up to them and just. Just take that lift thing and just lift them up and put them behind me and go on. You know, I don't have a Batmobile, but that's how some people are in their mind, you know. Ooh, I didn't think that anybody else had anything like that. I mean, that. right. I always, I, even, thought, I always thought about it, but, you know. I wanted to have, you know, when people cut you off yeah. and, and give you the finger, I yeah. always wanted to have a, you know, maybe some oil or something uh -huh. where I was a button I could Squirt some of that on on some, their car. Some of that holy oil over there. Yeah, on, and squirt it on their yeah, car. Yeah, now that's a good one, Grant. And, and, you know, but I, I wanted the Superman wanted that, one. You know, that was even before that they began to. It's always been ever since I've been driving. Uh huh. I, you know, people drive and and they and this one thing you drive it and you're on already at the at the curve and here's somebody coming. Try to go between you no, and squeeze, the curve. Squeeze, squeezing squeeze. in there. And that's when especially I want to have something to, to Especially where the, the lane is is is, is, is going ending. in, and then they just force you to let them in mm -hmm. because you don't want to get hit. That's when you need to have that oil and put that's that oil right. on them. Put some Jesus oil on them. On the anointing you know, that Dr. Jackson had, because we were riding yesterday, and uh, we was trying to make that left turn, and she all she could say was, in the name of Jesus. That's right. In the name of Jesus. But I'm just so glad to hear all this uh Good information and just the, the good topic you had today, Dr. Jackson and uh, Granny. Uh, peace. Peace. I knew that you guys were going to do so well, and I was just like, oh, I just got to get there to hear the ending of that piece that well, we you, talked you about. That the you were end of the end of, oh, Amen. Ended up with the yeah. Batmobile. I, I'm just <laughs> interested about you and Granny, how the, if y'all had a Batmobile and if Granny had something to squirt. <laughs> right. That is too much. Well, we love you, and we just thank God for you, everyone, for tuning in with us today. And yeah. we hope that you have a blessed day. Yeah, and it would be, be good. You know, you get the people that's not saved, and you got, like, as you say, you can squirt that blessed oil. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, yeah. and calm them down. <laughs> that would calm them down, Instead Granny. Of that the would Batmobile. calm them down for sure. I think they probably prefer the Batmobile. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Batmobile. Okay. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. The God is good. All the time. All the time. And all the time, God, God is, is good. good. Looking for
And now, the Hallelujah Program with Minister Deborah Jackson and Brother Daniel. 